Hello everyone. Today, we're going to try connecting to a web server using the HTTPS protocol. I've skipped the initialization process this time, but you can check it out in my previous video. The link is on the screen, so feel free to watch it there. First, for the TLS handshake, we'll need more memory, so please increase the heap size. We also need to enable the random number generator. Just make sure it's turned on. In the Software Packs tab, select the Cyclone TCP library and update it to the latest version if available. Next, we need to enable additional protocols for TLS. In Cyclone TCP, locate the HTTP client setting and switch it to TLS. If you see a yellow warning sign at any point, click on it and press the Solve button. This will automatically enable any other required files. Now, in the SSL settings, enable all the protocols we need. I hope I've selected all the necessary protocols, but it's not a big deal if it doesn't work. We can always enable them again and regenerate the project. Here, there's an option to enable hardware peripherals for encryption and decryption, but I don't want to enable it. Now, just enable the SSL and crypto libraries, and then generate the project. I'll press compile once to check the project. You just need to comment out this section. Great, the project has compiled successfully. I can enable debugging for the TLS and crypto libraries.
Now, in the Cyclone Library folder, I can find the HTTPS client project and copy all the necessary files into my project. I've opened both files side by side to easily find everything I need to copy. Add include rng.h at the top of the file. Copy the other three necessary headers as well. Here, change the port to 443 for the HTTPS protocol. There is a list of all supported protocols that you can enable. The library will automatically search for and select the correct protocol supported by the server. Also, copy the TLS initialization callback. Also, copy the content of the opening page function and paste it into my function. In the initialization, we need to add two more functions. I think it's done now. We can compile and check it. Oh, unfortunately, it's not working. I mean, it can't connect to the server. Now, I need to find the problem. Let's try increasing the task memory size. Still not working. Maybe I forgot to enable some necessary protocol. Let's check and take a look at the protocols. That's it. I forgot to enable the hash libraries. I hope it's working now. 
let's generate the project and try again. Yes, it's working, and you can now see the entire TLS handshake in the debug. I hope this video was useful for you. Bye, and see you in the next one.